Now, what do you have to do to make the car take over? I just pulled System this lever, effective. and now System it goes. Effective. Computer scientist Ralph Hertwig runs autonomous vehicle research for Mercedes-Benz. He punched in a route and took us for a 20-mile drive on city streets and highways in this S500, the company's most advanced self-driving prototype. So this is like no hands, no feet, car is in charge. Yeah, the car is in charge. Right from the start, the car astonished us. As we approached our first intersection, it slowed down and steered itself into the left turn lane. Traffic light ahead shows green. It's a German car, so naturally it has a German accent. That was the voice of Hertwig's secretary. So it just took off by itself when the light turned green, and now it's making this left turn by itself with other traffic around. This is absolutely amazing. Just two minutes into the ride, we entered a freeway on-ramp. If you think a normal merge is nerve-wracking, try it with a driver who's talking with his hands. I must admit, I find it a little disconcerting that we're driving <laughs> toward the freeway and you don't have your hands on the wheel. Shall I put them back on? Would that uh, make no, you feel no, more comfortable? No. Herdwick gave us a rare opportunity to go on an actual test run near Mercedes Silicon Valley Lab. Almost every major automaker is working on the technology here. Nissan has teamed up with NASA. Auto parts maker Delphi put its system in this Audi. It was the first to drive itself across the country. Back at that merge, don't hold your breath for the car to step on it. This S500 won't break the speed limit. Are you going to have little old ladies driving up behind you, beeping the horn to get going, get moving? Some people have remarked that the car itself, in some cases, drives a bit like an old lady. That's, that's fine with us for the time being.